Imagine two new crypto projects, Coin A and Coin B. Both have flashy websites and big promises, but their foundations are very different. Coin A's creators minted a trillion tokens, kept half for themselves, and are selling the rest with no real plan, just hype and hope for a price surge. Coin B, on the other hand, will release a limited number of coins over 10 years, rewarding those who help run the network. The team's coins are locked up for years, showing commitment. Coin B's token has a clear purpose, voting on the project's future and paying for services. Suddenly, Coin B feels more trustworthy. The difference? It's all in the design, the rules that govern the coin. These rules decide how tokens are created, who gets them, and what you can do with them. Without understanding these basics, you're flying blind in crypto. Coin A is built for a quick pump and dump, Coin B is designed for sustainability and real use. This set of rules, the economic DNA of a cryptocurrency, has a name. It's called tokenomics. Tokenomics is the key to understanding which projects have real potential. Ignore it, and you risk falling for empty promises. Learn it, and you'll see through the hype. Let's break down what tokenomics really means. Tokenomics is simply the economics of a cryptocurrency. It's the rulebook, how tokens are created, distributed, and used. Like Monopoly, you need to know the rules before you play. Good tokenomics answers. How many tokens exist? How are they distributed? What gives them value? If a token is unlimited or easily printed, it loses value, just like a currency with runaway inflation. Solid tokenomics create scarcity and real use, driving demand, it's the foundation for any successful crypto project. One core part of tokenomics is supply, how many tokens exist and how they're created. Take Bitcoin, only 21 million will ever exist, making it scarce and valuable. New Bitcoin is created through mining, with rewards having every four years, increasing scarcity. Ethereum used to have no hard cap, making it more inflationary. But now with proof of stake and fee burning, some ETH is destroyed with every transaction, balancing supply. Some projects pre-mine all tokens and distribute them from the start. Each approach has trade-offs. Scarcity can drive value, but flexibility can help a network grow. Understanding a project's supply model is crucial. It tells you if the coin is built for long-term health or just a quick cash grab. Always check how tokens are created and distributed. It's the first step in judging a project's future. Supply matters but demand is just as important, and demand comes from utility. A token with no use is just speculation. Real utility gives people a reason to buy and hold. For example, ETH is needed to pay for transactions on Ethereum. The more people use Ethereum apps, the more demand for ETH ace. Some tokens let holders vote on project decisions. Governance. Others are used for staking, where users lock up tokens to secure the network and earn rewards. Staking reduces available supply and can stabilize prices. Utility turns a token from a gamble into a tool. The best projects create real reasons to use their tokens. That's what drives lasting demand. Always ask, what can this token actually do? If the answer is not much, think twice. When limited supply meets real demand, prices rise. Basic economics, Bitcoin's capped supply and growing demand make it valuable, but a token with unlimited supply and no use? Its price will crash. Tokenomics isn't just theory, it's your filter for spotting good projects. Ignore the hype and read the rules. Check the white paper for supply, distribution, and utility. Solid tokenomics reveal a project's true potential. Weak tokenomics are a red flag, learn the basics, and you'll navigate crypto with confidence. Tokenomics is your guide to the crypto world.